Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another series of tutorials with me, Aubrey. This is where you learn effortlessly. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment, and share the lessons. All right, so uh, previously, we started looking at uh, the Cover Belt University Mathematics Department Physics Tutorial Sheet. This is our Physics 110, Introductory Physics. Uh, tutorial sheet two that focuses on scalars and vectors all right so in the previous video we have covered uh, vector addition and subtraction we're also looking at we, uh, we also looked at uh, finding the direction and uh, the magnitude so if you haven't already please um, check out um, that lesson then uh, we continue together from there so but in this lesson we are looking at um, the resultant vector all right so we're looking at the resultant vector and um, to start off we are starting off with uh, question number three question number three reads the three finalists in a contest are brought to the center of a large flat field each is given a meter stick a compass a calculator a shovel and the following three displacements all right so we have these three displacements the three displacements lead to a point where the keys to a new building are buried. Two contestants start measuring immediately. The winner first calculates where to go. Then the question reads, what does the winner calculate in terms of the magnitude and the direction? So basically what we are being asked here is just to find the resultant of this because the resultant of this leads to a point where the keys to a new building are buried. All right, so finding the resultant of this, the formula that you will be familiar with of all the resultants. So finding the resultant, the formula you use is R is equals to the, um, just erase that. Let me write it properly. So R is equals to the root of the x squared plus the y squared. So for resultant, either resultant displacement, resultant force, resultant vector, whatever resultant, this is the formula that you're going to use for the resultant. Then to find the direction of the resultant, the formula is theta is equals to, which is just the angle tan inverse of the y part over the x part All right so that is how you will calculate that now from there so we are now going to interpret this information on uh on a x or y plane so let's interpret the question on the x or y plane all right so there is our x or y plane so we start interpreting Interpreting the information, so we have uh, 72, this is the magnitude, 72.4, and that is 32 degrees east of north, all right, so very important, east of north, so of north here, so meaning that we are at north, of north, meaning that we are at north, and east of north is this side, so east of north, that is that side, so that would be like that, now we are measuring 32 degrees so where are we going to put 32 degrees so this 32 degrees is from north but east of north so this is a uh, the 32 degrees there 32 degrees east of north so that is a uh, 72.4 we go to the next one that is a uh, 36 degrees south of west of west so we are at west so west south of west is down here and uh, south of west is down there so 36 degrees south of west so we are at west south of west so we are counting that is uh, uh, 36 degrees there 36 degrees then we finally measure 17.8 uh, straight south so straight south is just down south like that Okay, just put the arrow for you to see that. All right, so these are the displacements. 
Now, what we have to do is we are going to resolve them into components. So we're going to have um, like a simple diagram like that. So we're going to have our X component there, X component and our Y component there. So we start putting in the values. So this is a 72. Remember the X component is associated with cos then this is associated with sine. So how we measure the angle or the direction at which a vector is, we start from the positive x-axis until we meet that vector. So the angle that we're looking for for this vector is from this point until we reach that vector there. So that will be 72.4. We say cos. The angle is... Uh, so that angle, remember this is 90 degrees, so that is uh, 32 minus 90, that will give you 58 degrees there. So that is 58 degrees there. Okay, then we do the same for this one. So we are measuring from the positive x direction until we touch this angle there. So this line is 180, so 180 plus... Uh, 36 so that will be that what the, the magnitude of this one is 57 sorry 57.3 so that will be 57.3 cos the angle that is 216 216 degrees then we do the same for this one so this is 90 180 this is also plus 90 there so that would be 270. So the magnitude of this is 17.8. 17.8. So that would be 17.8 cos 270. Okay. Then we'll add simply that. So we say this times cos that plus this times cos that plus and so on and so forth. Then we replicate the same things, but the only difference would be sign on the on the other side. So we have replicated all the values, so the difference is just sine. So 72, 72 sine there. So for y, we have sine, for x, we have cos. Then we do the same here. So when we compute everything, so this times this plus this times this plus this times that, that will give us negative 7.99. Okay, then when we do the same here, that is a uh, this times this plus this times that that will give us 9.92 when uh, we're done with the computation so meaning that our x our x is equals to negative 7.99 and our y component is equals to 9.92 so this is all you need for you to compute your resultant so remember the formula for the resultant r is equals to the root part, I mean the root of uh, this squared which is negative 7.99 squared plus this squared which is 9.92 squared all right so that is that when simplified this will give you so it will give you 12.74 as your resultant all right, so that will be your resultant. Then to find uh, the direction of the resultant, it is just the angle theta. So theta is equals to tan inverse of the y part, which is 9.92 um, divided by um, the x part, which is uh, negative 7.92. Nine, nine. All right. So that is our. So that is the direction that you're going to get negative fifty one point one five. Now we need to determine if it's east, west, or whatever. So we'll come back to our x or y plane. We need to locate this uh, um, this direction. So. To locate this direction we know that if the angle is negative then we are moving in the negative direction so negative direction that will be in this direction so moving in this direction 
so negative 51 will be most likely there so this is um, negative 51 degrees remember this was uh, our east this is our south so we'd say negative 51 degrees east I mean south of east so that would be south of east south of east okay so that is our direction for um, that so this is question number three if you have any question please leave them in the comment box and we can discuss from there my whatsapp line is uh on the screen there so uh, please uh, give me a shout out send me tutorials requests and i'll be able to do videos on that so have a good one see you in the next lesson